A troubling sign out of New York. The polio virus is popping up in samples of New York City's wastewater. That means the virus likely spread to more people than initially expected. Health officials say it's not cause for concern, but not panic. The take home message is still a very reassuring. Vaccines work and they work very, very well. But if we have less and less coverage of the vaccines within a, our community or within our nation, we're going to see more and more of these types of infections. Most people infected with polio can be asymptomatic, but can still shed the virus and then pass it along to the unvaccinated for days or even weeks. A small percentage of people who get polio suffer paralysis and even death. Polio really has not been a concern for a very long time. So how did this even happen? Well, there's an oral vaccine for the virus. It rarely happens, but people who got that form of the vaccine can get sick. The weakened form of the virus mutates over time. The World Health Organization links more than 2,600 cases to the oral vaccine in the past five years alone. Now, the United States stopped using the oral vaccine in 2000. Since then, kids get an inactive version and threw a shot. It's been a long time since polio made headlines, and most of us got the shots and then really just kind of forgot about it. Now that it's back, our Verify team is digging into what you need to know. Our sources include the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the World Health Organization, and Dr. Samina Evers with Novant Health. First, how does polio spread? The WHO and CDC say polio primarily spreads through fecal or oral contact, so it's a good idea to wash your hands before you eat to protect yourself. The second question, and we're seeing this one a lot from older folks, is about the polio vaccine given out in the 1950s. Some kids got it in a sugar cube, so through the mouth. Is the oral polio vaccine given out decades ago still effective? Yes, it is. It is no longer given because of the small risk in the population of spreading that attenuated virus, but it, it too is an effective form of being protected against polio. Quick vocab check, an attenuated vaccine means the vaccine contains a weakened form of a virus to help elicit a strong and long-lasting immune response. Okay, last question. Does the U.S. still use the oral polio vaccine? According to Dr. Evers and the CDC, the answer is no. Here's why. There was a very, very low risk, like one in 2.4 million, that that oral polio virus, um, that vaccine that was given by mouth, could spread and cause polio. And so in 2000, it became routine in this country to use the inactivated polio vaccine, which is given as an injection in the arm or leg, and there is no risk of that sort of vaccine causing polio in the community. Some countries still administer the polio vaccine orally because it's easier and cheaper. So very few cases of polio have popped up in the U.S. as a whole, none outside of New York City. It still has people worried, though. Parents say their concerns is it just seemed to kind of come back out of nowhere. So this one right here has the polio in it. Six-month-old Grayson Moreland from Corona is getting his third dose of the polio vaccine. Okay. Oh, okay, buddy. Keeping her son's childhood vaccines up to date is a priority for Amber Moreland to protect him. The polio case discovered in New York in a young adult frightens her. Health officials there say the disease has been detected in the wastewater in New York City, and it's possible that hundreds may have gotten polio and don't know it. The things that were eradicated and now are coming back is, is very scary. <laughs> Amber Moreland says her great aunt had polio back in the 1940s. In the all-out fight against polio. Like so many children with polio paralysis back then, Amber's great aunt had to learn to walk again. Former President Franklin Delano Roosevelt was permanently paralyzed after contracting polio. There is no cure for polio. Doctors say the way to prevent it is by getting the vaccine. Yes, everyone should be vaccinated, and anyone who is not sure of their vaccination status should definitely check. Kids typically get their first dose at two months old and three subsequent polio vaccines through age four. The disease was eradicated in the U.S. in 1979. Orange County pediatrician Kate Williamson says the polio virus discovery in New York shows that polio is still a very serious threat to the public. It would be so easy for the polio virus that we're seeing in New York to be in California. 
one person can get on a plane, be infected, not even know they're infected or have any symptoms, and then be around many people in California before we identify that polio is now here. All right, so we want to take a look at vaccines here in North Carolina when it comes to polio. Children in our schools need to be vaccinated against polio before attending. If they've gotten their full four dose series, they have 99% protection. People can apply for exemptions, of course, based on medical needs or religious beliefs. And some people just like to kind of push off the vaccine until they're actually required to. But doctors say, uh, and they, doctors do say that can contribute to more cases. But the focus right now is making sure that the vaccine rates are up. Some counties in this country have a very low vaccination rate for a number of reasons. We have to target those counties and get vaccines in the arms of young children, and then this will not be a concern. But it's happening now in Britain, it's happening in Israel, and it's happening here in the United States. Chances are your child has been vaccinated, but there's nothing wrong with checking their shot record, touching base with your pediatrician.